scientists and engineers, Ms. Bobby here. We've been learning a lot about solutions, suspensions, and reactions. We're going to go a step further now and talk about acids and bases. Acids and bases are measured using something called pH. We use pH because we know that whenever you put an acid and a base together, you get a reaction. Sometimes we want those reactions. For instance, in the reactions video, we saw what happened when we put vinegar and acid and mixed it with baking soda, a base. We got a reaction, which was carbon dioxide bubbles. We love that reaction in baking because we want the carbon dioxide to form and make our cakes high. Well, you can also get a reaction that you don't want. For instance, you never want to mix any chemicals in your house that you can't eat. Sometimes dangerous reactions can happen and dangerous gases or other chemicals, substances can be made. So, but today we're going to go through how you are going to measure acidity or basicity using pH papers, otherwise known as litmus strips. Now litmus strips are pretty cool because when you dip them into a liquid, a mixture, it will tell you what the pH is based on the color that it turns. You have a lab book. I'm gonna be stepping through how to do the experiment so you can find out what's happening with household liquids at your house. Remember, question, test, report. Our question is, what is the pH of some liquids? Let's test and find out. Scientists and engineers, this is what your lab book for acids and bases experiment looks like. Let's remember what we know about substances and mixtures. The matter of substances cannot be created or destroyed. The mass or weight of a mixture is equal to the total mass of all of its substances put together. Liquid mixtures of substances can either be solutions or suspensions. We also know that water mixtures of some substances can be solutions. In a solution, the atoms or molecules of a substance are very tiny and evenly distributed in the solution. For example, in a salt solution, the molecules of the salt are very small and everywhere in the solution is the same amount of salt or concentration. We know that substances can have physical and chemical characteristics and so do water solutions of those substances. They can have different colors. We learned about solubility. And here's another chemical characteristic, pH, or a measure of acidity or alkalinity. We know that acids can sting or burn your skin and often taste sour. We know that bases are alkaline and feel kind of slippery, but they can also burn when they're very strong. Never feel or taste chemicals unless you know they are food. The three steps in science are question, test, report. For our question, we need to state our hypotheses. There are two hypotheses we can use for this experiment. The first one, A, all household liquids have the same pH. The second, B, all household liquids do not have the same pH. Think about it and choose your hypothesis. 
We're going to use litmus strips to determine the pH of the liquids you're going to test. We're going to talk about the test procedures in a moment. Scientists use litmus strips to test for pH. Litmus strips are papers with special chemicals that change color to show the pH of a liquid. pH is measured in numbers from 1 to 14. Number 7 is the pH of water. From 6 to 8 is considered neutral pH. If the pH is from 1 to 4, it's a very strong acid. If the pH is 11 to 14, it's a very strong base. This is our test procedure. First, we'll put out a small amount of the test liquid. Dip one end of the test strip into the liquid. Remove the test strip and wait for a minute to see the color change. Then we'll compare the color to reference colors to find out the pH of our test liquid, and then you'll write your result in your lab notebook. Tap water usually has a pH of 7, but it can range anywhere from 6 to 8. Some examples of acids you might test are vinegar, orange juice, and canned soda, and some examples of bases you could try would be laundry soap, dishwasher soap, and baking soda. You can record your results on this page of your lab report. This is how I did the experiment at my house. I took a piece of paper towel and wrote down the different liquids I was going to test, and then I taped the reference colors onto that piece of paper. You can use either a small bowl or some spoons I happen to have a little plastic container that had some small bowls in it, so that's where I put my test liquids. I put a small piece of tape onto my test strip so that it would make it easier for me to dip that test strip into my test liquids. I decided to test the lemon juice first because I guessed that it would make a good color on the litmus test strip. I saw that the test strip changed colors very rapidly. It was turning orange. When I compared the test strip to the reference colors, I saw that it looked more like a number four than any other color. We know that any number less than six is an acid and that numbers around four are strong acids. This is what it looked like when I finished my experiment. I tested water, milk, juice, vinegar, and baking soda. In my lab book, I would circle hypothesis B, all household liquids do not have the same pH, then record the pH that I saw when I did my testing. On this page, I'll write my results again and my conclusion. Was the liquid an acid, a base, or neutral pH? Make sure to include whether your hypothesis was correct or not correct, and anything that might have surprised you. Write your conclusions on this page, and if there's anything that you'd like to test the next time, write it here. Be sure to draw and label a picture showing how you tested the liquids that you chose.
Hello again, scientists and engineers. I hope you enjoyed learning about acids and bases and testing the liquids at your house with litmus strips to find out whether they, was, they were an acid or a base. You also learned that whenever you mix acids and bases, you get a reaction. So I'm glad you filled out your lab book and I'll be bringing you another demonstration of an experiment very soon. See you then.